Welcome, Welcome to, to Wonderlust. Wonderlust. I'm Millie. And I'm John T. We've had such a nice extended weekend celebrating Chinese New Year. Yeah, we're still incredibly full <laughs> from the amount of food that we've eaten. Uh, let's, so we list, we've had pineapple tarts. Yeah, love uh, letters. We've had love letters. There's samosa prawns. Oh yeah, those things prawns. are so good. Some of the spicy ones as well are really tasty. We've had some special jellies. We've Cookies. Had, so, so that's all the snacky stuff. Uh, and then we've also had meals. So we had, oh, my grandparents' place. We had a prawn veggie thing. We chicken had curry. chicken curry. We had uh, minced pork oh, inside that was amazing. a cucumber with like a creamy sauce. It yeah, so like the cucumber was shaved. Do you call it shaved? Yeah. Um, what do you call it? Shaved. 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 Peeled. peeled. It was peeled. <laughs> and then the inside was taken out. And then inside the middle was um, was like minced pork. And we had another meal at another aunt's house. Yeah, which bihun. had bihun, chicken wings, and chicken wings, and then loads of snacks there as well. <laughs> then the next day, oh, we had loads more snacks, including kue lapis, which is amazing photo, uh, and more love letters. More love letters. What's that soupy dessert that I don't like? Chung tung. Mm. I tried it twice. But it's, it's a bit bitter. There's a My dad's bitter favorite. taste. It's quite sweet. Mm. We had uh, a fish thing, and then there was the chicken wings with the egg thing. Uh, it was all just that was incredible. And then the next day, <coughs> we had a steamboat. steamboat or hot pot, which is basically where you have a big bowl of broth. And you just chuck loads of stuff in. <laughs> <laughs> And then people have, we all have nets, and then we get to scoop out what we want. We way overordered. <laughs> I was eating non stop for about eight hours. And, um, and then I got the meat, I woke up in the middle of the night, I forgot to say, I had like the meat sweats. Oh. Like, this is not happening. And I was so tired, I couldn't be bothered to go to the kitchen, so I just went to the bathroom, like <laughs> drinking out of the sink. <laughs> After a lovely long weekend, John had to go back to work on Monday, so the kids and I had a really nice long lion. And then did we just you? Like, yeah, we did. When did you wake up? Nine o'clock. What? I've been at work for two hours by then. Well, yeah. So we had a lion and then got up and we decided to go to one of the largest national parks, which there are over 300 national parks. Wow, that's a lot of national parks for Tanya. Yeah, so Bishan Amokyo Park is one of the largest. So we grabbed our scooters, I grabbed my penny board, and we decided to go and check it out and see what's there. Loads of the parks in Singapore have outdoor workout stations. They're kitted out really well. We've got one in our condo. And it's quite good to use for a all body workout. So I've just managed to snap both sides off my mask. So I've knotted it together and hopefully I can uh, grab a spare one off someone because I swapped my bags over and all my spares are in my other bag. We stopped off by the lily pond for a little break. There's little fish around, dragonflies. Even though the road's right there, it actually feels quite tranquil. There's lots of palm trees, which will just forever remind me of being on holiday because it's not something we ever saw in England. Hey. This is a robotic independent lawnmower that just trundles around and cuts the grass. Park also has a community garden. I really like the idea of these. It's a bit like an allotment in the UK. You'd have a patch of land that you can grow things in and this one looks really well maintained. I can see lots of fruits and vegetables growing inside it. My favourite season in the UK is actually autumn. I love it when all the leaves are falling down, everything's all golden brown, crunchy leaves underfoot, you've got beautiful blue skies, but it's a little bit chilly and if it wasn't for the fact it's probably plus 30 degrees today, it's got quite an autumn feel because you can hear the leaves rattling along the ground as the wind blows, but it's, it's definitely not an autumn temperature today. So having a fight about that 
email money. There's lots of butterflies flying around, but I haven't been able to take a picture of one yet. They fly away just as I get there. There's a beautiful little stream here and the pebbles across are actually quite slippery. I've been here before and the water wasn't even up to the top of them at all. And unfortunately Aspen fell in, so she's a little bit soggy, but she doesn't mind too much. <laughs> I fell over. You saw anything? I got a fishy. Ooh, moss. having a great time playing, just sitting around, there's a few other families, it's a really nice place to come actually. My tooth fell out. It came out at McDonald's and I was eating. The friendly staff at McDonald's gave me another mask, I tried to knot it up both but it just kept pinging off and it wasn't really working so I've got another one on. There's a few other places to eat inside Bishan and Mokio Park. We decided to go to McDonald's, it was one of the closest ones to us and the other ones are a little bit pricier for what I wanted to pay just for a lunchtime meal. Plus the kids always love having a McDonald's treat anyway. We had to wait a little while for our food because of Covid letting limited people in in but we're refreshed, we've had a drink and we're ready to go and explore the rest of the park. The path is so smooth, so it's really nice to skate along. <laughs> to get to the other side, you've got to leave the park and cross a busy road. They're building a new MRT station here. So there's lots of road works and you can't get out of the entrance that you normally would to just pop across the road but we're going to head over and we're actually in search of the big playground that they've got here that we haven't ever managed to reach. Hey, one day Junji and I want to hire some bikes and do the coast to coast trail. This is part of it as well. This side of the park has got lovely smooth tracks as well. Lots of shade with the trees, there's wide green spaces as well, good for picnics. Imagine coming here in the evening for a picnic would be quite nice, a bit slightly cooler. There's a little water play playground here as well. I have been here before actually. I'm remembering now that we've come back. Uh, it's shut at the moment. It was closed last time actually. So hopefully it'll be reopened again at some point. This side of the park has a lot more chilled out spaces, a lot more places to just sit, take in nature. It's really, really beautiful. Yeah. Kids found a park. I found a nice bench to sit on. We've been here for about three hours and there's plenty to do. I recommend bringing scooters or bikes or something like that because it is quite a long way to travel from one to the other, especially when it's really, really hot. I've 
pieces of this playground and I think there's usually a few more other wooden climbing pieces but they seem to have gone there's some patches of mud where I guess they would have been there so they're not here anymore which is a bit of a shame but the kids are still having lots of fun it's a bit cooler now because it's getting a bit later in the afternoon it's a really lovely spot just to wander around there's lots of people cycling there's some people just chilling out reading books listening to music it's a really nice atmosphere here It looked like you guys had an amazing time at Bishan Namako Park. Yeah. Meanwhile, I was at work. Yeah. In front of meetings all day long. But uh, to be honest, the content was very good. I was very happy. But yeah, it looked like a great time. Yeah, it was a really good time. So if you've got any recommendations of places that we can go as a family or some of the 300 plus parks that we might not have heard of, then drop us a comment below. As always, we're just so appreciative that you join us on the journey, uh, watch what we get up to during the week, and um, we're loving the interaction, we're loving replying to you, and all the comments that you give us on, uh, on, on here and on Instagram, Facebook. Um, and yeah, we look forward to seeing you next time. Bye.